How's it going? This is Dallas Piscopo with Mantis Plant Protection, and um, I just stopped by the University of Arizona Research Station here in Yuma, Arizona, and I was looking at, as of this month, uh, uh, hemp microgreens are now legal to grow in Arizona, and I think it's kind of an interesting uh, concept and, and product. I know that uh, hemp growing through the full stage has its challenges and obviously with the longer crop you're going to get uh, more cost and, and inputs and potentially more pest problems and you know you name it whatever it goes whatever's involved in the growing part of it but the the microgreens and speaking to the research scientist he tells me that it's only Currently, it's only legal in Arizona to, and I don't know why there's there's not a big difference between full-grown hemp and microgreen hemp, but apparently there is. And right now, Arizona is the only place that you can legally grow hemp microgreens. And if I were growing here in Arizona, um, or if I had the ground here in Arizona, I think that would be something I would hop in, hop onto. It may be just kind of a trend, but I think it's going to be a long lasting trend. And here in the next few years, you're probably gonna see a lot of uh, hemp microgreens and salad mixes and whatnot. It doesn't produce any CBD, but uh, but it's, uh, and it's, and it's a short crop. It's supposed to be about 20 days. Um, he's working on different varieties and timing and whatnot, and it looks like it's going to be more of a 30 to 40 day crop, but something out there. I mean, something to, for you hemp growers out there, I think it'd be something to look into because it sounds like other states are going to make it or legalize it as well. And if you already have experience growing full grown hemp, I think you're going to find growing micro green hemp to be a much uh, easier experience and and probably as the market develops some serious buyers are going to be out there looking to mix it in with their with their other greens like salad mixes and whatnot or or for other purposes but just passing that along i'll i'll put a link to uh, the research center and uh, and Another good thing about hemp is that Mantis EC Botanical Insecticide Minicide is, uh, works well on any pests, especially spider mites and other soft body insects. Um, works well on hemp without any phytotoxicity. So if you haven't tried Mantis EC, then uh, go ahead and click the link below, which will take you to the store page. And um, for the rest of this month, it's at it's at a discount at forty one dollars per quart. So check it out.